Hello, welcome to my little home studio. I'm Sandy, I'm a Community Arts and Crafts Instructor at East Sussex College. On today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a piece of blackout poetry art. We'll be looking at different ways of blocking or colouring over parts of the text, could be from a magazine or a newspaper, so that only some carefully selected words or short phrases remain visible and thus creating a new storyline in the piece of visual poetry. This project will give you the chance to really explore and take apart an existing piece of writing and then personalise it and really make it your own. It will also give you the opportunity to explore and bring together some of your already existing creative skills. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so I will start this block out poetry art demonstration by talking you through some of the equipment I'll be using. So firstly, and very importantly, we need a piece of text. So you can get this from a magazine. So any good section piece of text that you might find. It could be a newspaper article, it could be a page of a book that's perhaps been damaged and destined to the recycling bin. And here, for demonstration purposes, I do have a section of Alice in Wonderland book story, which I have enlarged, again for demonstration purposes, so that you hopefully will be able to see some of the words that we'll be using to create our little story. You'll then need a pencil, a pen, a rubber, just to make some notes and may, maybe underline some of the words you intend to use. A marker pen, always handy, once you've decided how you will decorate and design your art piece. For this project, I've also decided to use just some acrylic paints. So I have a selection of acrylic paints here that I intend to use. And I have some just little old yogurt pots to put the paints on in. And some water to rinse my brushes. A couple of little brushes and some paper towels because, as I said, I'm going to use just the photocopy, so this is a standard photocopy paper, not very thick, so we don't want it to get it too wet. And this is the basics of the equipment we need. So once we have chosen our piece of text, we need to start by reading it through, really familiarising yourself with some of the words, any words that you think might make an interesting little story later and you can underline some of those words using a pencil gently or you can just write them on a scrap piece of paper which you can then scribble and cross around and these are the words we will use to develop our little story. Once you're happy with that list of words and you can see a little story, a little narrative kind of developing then start actually writing it down and check that you're happy with how it reads and this will be your story which could be as silly or as serious as you like perhaps something that has some kind of meaning to you it really doesn't matter it's your story um, I have gone for a very silly one um, but hopefully you will like it. So then you can start looking at how are you going to mark those words on your page. And here, again, I just started with a pencil line and then went over with a marker pen. You don't have to surround them so boldly. It really is your choice how you do it and how you decorate the page. This is just what I have chosen to do uh, with this little story. So once you're kind of again happy with how it might start to look, then I've started to just adding a little bit of colour and I like the thought that 
I can break it up by using different color sections. I will start painting by blocking some of the words that I do not wish to be part of my story and so that the words I have selected will stand out and make my story more obvious. So I will firstly use some yellow paint, don't need much of it, just a little dollop of it on a little pot, a little bit of water because we want it to be semi-transparent. I do want the blocked text to be seen as a piece of text, not a complete block of colour. So just thin it down a little bit. Again, try not to get your brush too wet. And I will just start painting sections of it. You don't need to worry too much about not going over the black lines because it doesn't really show. The black is so strong. So you can go over some of it and it really doesn't matter. Just start colouring in some of these sections. Quite lightly. Looking good. So I will just paint this first section and then I will speed up the process and you will be able to see the finished article. Okay. And I will gradually add some other colors.
Okay, so here it is my finished blackout poetry art piece. As you can see, now it is a lot easier to read my story, which goes, The rabbit had to think very slowly to look and to wonder what was next. First it was too dark, then here and there a jar. It was great to drop it in the well. One little story and I have another one here that I've done in a completely different style. So while this one is quite organic and soft, this one is a lot harsh, very angular straight lines. And on this one it reads Good cheer and well-being came as visitor, as a visitor. A volunteer recruiting people joining friends. The group performed anonymously on location, attired in pyjamas and dressing gown. The perfect choice for a successful time in the choir stalls of London, filled with light and the complex patchwork of an economically modest family. So again, two completely silly little stories, but I hope you enjoyed the process and it will inspire you to create your own piece of blackout poetry art. Please do share with us your creations. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.